Bet y'all didn't know we have exploding turkeys in Vermont, did you? No rest. No, oh, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. Green Mountain Gold Trap. Now this is part of our independent geological expedition. This is one of the uh, one of the hot spots that we're looking at. As you can see, I'm right here at a confluence. You've got one brook coming in down through here, and the other one coming in through here. So my goal is to get down a ways below this, and reason being is because this flows right directly smack dab over the top of a barretta tube so finding it of course you can't see it it's buried in all kinds of till but I know the general location from this point so that's what I'm working my way to kind of rough hiking as you can see I'm down inside quite the valley here and then you've got quite the hill over here but very interesting area even though I'm above the Bracha tube, I'm still seeing all kinds of volcanic rock all the way down through here. And I did do one sample. Um, and by the way, Wayne, we have permission. I met the owner to all the owners, the mother and the son, and spoke with them. So we have all the permission to be here and we can park. Um, where I said would be nice to park and I'm not going to say anymore But that's where I'm parked today. So anyway, I'm going to get working my way down here and do some more sampling I did do one sample up above did some crevicing some cracking and nothing showed up there But uh, see what we can see what we can come up with down through here Back in a bit All right, so I've already uh, crossed a set of power lines and now I'm to another well, four-wheel drive road that cuts across, obviously 
somebody else's property. They've got sugar lines. They're old sugar lines that haven't been maintained in God knows how long. There's a bunch of them just down all through the woods. It's a mess, actually. But, I mean, I kind of half expected to find some more bedrock to give me an indicator. I don't know if I've gone too far, but we've got a nice inside bend right here and some good drop points up where my bucket is. So I'm gonna do some testing here. I don't know as if I'm gonna keep going any further. Before I know it, I'll be down to the other main road. <laughs> but anyway, I'll keep you posted. Okay, so I'm in the same general location. That uh, little road is right here and right there inside Bend. Got a nice natural riffle here thanks to a tree that came down. And directly in front of it are these two boulders. And standing up on end was that flat rock that my shovel is on. And there was all kinds of material packed in behind it. So I've just moved a bunch of rocks. I mean, it's an ideal spot. Natural riffle material trapped in and I've got my classifier filled up. So I'm gonna pan this back and see if there's anything in it. Back in a bit. All right, so as I was saying, while I was classifying this and paying close attention to my rocks and then realized I had that set to picture instead of video. <laughs> Thought the battery died. Taking my time because this isn't your average prospecting. What we're looking for is certain rocks. Now, as I was going through the classifier, I did manage to find some uh, corn blend. And I may have found some andesite, which is one of the key things that we're looking for up in here. I'll have to take a closer look at this in the com log, but I wanted to bring that up, but it's, this isn't your everyday average prospecting here. I'll finish panning this back and we'll see if we get in the I'll get back to in a minute here. Alright, so... Thanks to GPS, <laughs> I've discovered I'm pretty darn close to the main road. One thing I want to point out on this expedition that we're doing, <coughs> I've got my setup, myself set up with that. Of course, I've been using that Reinhardt, little Reinhardt suction dredge, like a baster, to collect my stock works. It's just easier to carry than a bucket, or not a bucket, but a little uh, one quart, two quart tub, and also when I'm out doing this, this is this is a a team effort. So I have separate snuffer bottles and this one here is, you know, when I'm out doing stuff like this, if I should happen to come across any gold, it goes in here because we split the gold at the end of the season. So just wanted to point that out. But anyway, be back in a minute here. So, I do believe I saw one piece of flower gold in here, but that's not the big thing. I mean, yeah, we want to make, we want to, we want to find gold here, but we also want to take a look at what's inside the stock works. So, I'm going to suck up what I have in the pan here. You can see it uh, inside this uh, Reinhardt dredge and bring it home so we can study it. That's good. All right, I'm gonna bring you back in a minute here. I wanna show you some rocks I just picked up. 
back in a bit. Okay. So, one of the reasons why I'm having such a difficult time locating where the breccia tube is, is one, I'm not as geologically astute. I'm just learning this stuff. But two, I'm finding um, volcanic rock way the hell up above where the breccia tube isn't yet so that's kind of throwing me off i think i see another volcanic rock right over there but anyway i have some right here i'm seeing different types of conglomerate rock down here we have this is i mean they're two of the same color but this one's more coarse i mean and this takes volcanic activity to take place folks it's when it's hot, liquid form, and other rocks kind of get embedded in, and then it cools and forms what's called conglomerate. Here's another one here. This one has some quartz in it. And then you have this type. And this, you can tell, got hot. This one too. And then this one is much like this one, but it's a smoother um, host rock. And it's not, it's not horn blend. But there again, another piece of uh, conglomerate. And this one here, it's not as light colored as I was looking for for the andesite. However, it certainly looks like it has andesite in it. Let me get it wet again. Get it over. I don't know if you can see that. I'm probably gonna, yeah. That sure looks like andesite in there to me. There's that big piece. See that? Hmm. What do we have there in the center of the screen? Interesting. More. Alright, so I just wanted to show you those rocks. And you know, like I said, this, this, this takes volcanic activity for this stuff to occur. Another one. And this is the horn blend. This is usually found in the lining of a breccia tube. And that's the one that I thought might be into sight, but the more I look at it, the more I don't know as if it is or not. The camera's not focusing very well. There we go. I don't think so, but I do believe that one has the andesite in it. I'm pretty convinced about that. Could be, I uh, can't remember if it's biotite. Uh, can't remember. I don't have service down here, so I can't pull up the app that I use, which is very, very, uh, very good to have for a gold prospector. Must be a bird. I thought somebody was walking up on me here. <laughs> Alright. So, unless I find something interesting, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, folks. So, I thank you all for coming along and for watching. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Maybe on the way back up through, I'll find my hat that my son bought me that I lost here. Take care, everybody.